Hello everyone and welcome to the ANSYS tutorial. So in the today's session, we are discussing stress analysis of simply supported beam with a uniformly distributed load, UDL acting throughout the length of the beam. The problem description is compute the SFD and BMD for the beam shown. Assume rectangular cross section of 0.2 meter into 0.3 meter. Length modulus is 200 gigapascal, which is nothing but 200 into 10 raise 3 Newton per millimeter square. And the Poisson's ratio is 0.3. Length of the beam is 2 meter. And the intensity of UDL is 10 kilonewton per meter, which is nothing but 10 newton per millimeter because the kilonewton conversion is 10 raise 3 and the meter to millimeter conversion is 10 raise 3. So in the top you have 1 10 raise 3 and in the bottom you have 1 10 raise 3. So the bottom and top 10 raise 3 will get cancelled and it will uh, uh, the value remains same. So 10 kilonewton per meter is equal to 10 newton per millimeter. The UDL is represented by rectangular because UDL means uniformly distributed load. The intensity of the UDL is same throughout the length of the beam. If you take at any cross section, its intensity remains same. So it is represented by rectangle. Whereas UVL, uniformly varying load, is represented by triangle because it is uniformly varying load. The intensity of UVL is varies with the length of the beam. So let's move to the theoretical calculation. So UDL is also represented by this figure, this kind of figure. You can see in the theory problems, uh, UDL is represented by this uh, kind of figure. So before going to start SFD and BMD, we must calculate uh, the load shared by the reaction RA and RB supports. So for calculation purpose, we are uh, pointing this point as B and this point as A, which is also equal to B means RB and A means RA, that is reaction B and reaction A. So the whatever load is acting uh, on the beam is shared by these two reactions, RA and RB. We must calculate how much uh, load out of the total load is shared by RA and how much load is shared by RB. For that purpose, we must uh, know how much uh, total load is acting on the beam. So we have only one load acting on that beam, that is UDL. That intensity is 10 kilonewton per meter. So it is 10 kilonewton per meter. We have the length of the beam as 2 meter. So the total load will be 10 kilonewton into per meter is 10. We have 2 meters. So 10 into 2 is the total load, 20 kilonewton, which is shared by the reaction RA and RB. If you have another load, point load, or anything, we should add here. But we have only one load, UDL. So it is 20 kilonewton. So for uh, calculation, of uh, reaction RA and RB, we must take a uh, moment at A at this point. We have two load uh, at A, one is UDL, another one is uh, reaction load. We don't know the reaction load, so we are naming it as RB. So RB we are taking positive because this direction we are taking positive for bending moment and whatever load is acting is we are taking it as negative. So RB uh, we have a length uh, till A, it is RB is having a length of 2 meter. So RB into 2 positive, RB into 2 is positive, minus now because negative, this load is negative. So UDL for uh, calculation of bending moment for UDL, the formula is W into L into L by 2, where W is load. In our case, it is 10 kilonewton. L is length till A, we have 2 meter. So 10 into 2 into L by 2. So L is 2 meter, 2 by 2. So 10 into 2 into 1 it is negative. If you take this side, it will become positive. So RB into 2 equals to 20 kilonewton. So 2RB is 20 kilonewton. RB equals to 20 divided by 2, that is 10 kilonewton. So RB, we got it as 10 kilonewton. We know that total load RA plus RB is 20 kilonewton. So we got the value of RB. If you substitute the value of RB, we'll get RA as 10 kilonewton and RB as 10 kilonewton. So it is 10 kilonewton, it is 10 kilonewton. So the total load acting on the beam is 20. Out of 20, 10 is shared by A and 10 is shared by B. Now let's move to the shear force calculation. So shear force at B, it is 10 kilonewton. We have calculated. For shear force, we are taking this direction as negative. So negative 10 kilonewton. We don't have any points in between. Next, directly we jump to the A at A. We need to calculate the previous value that is minus 10 we have to add plus we have UDL till A 
uh, UDL is 10 kN per meter. The 2 meter is uh, uh, till 8, it is having 2 meter. So 10 into 2 positive to 20 positive minus 10 negative. 20 positive minus 10 is 10 positive value will get. At A, it is 10 kN in a positive direction, whereas at B, it is minus 10. So diagram will be minus 10 and at A, it will become positive. You have to draw a line like this triangle. So it is the shear force diagram. We can observe that at point C, the shear force is changing its sign from uh, negative to positive. So we know that uh, whenever the shear force changes its sign from positive to negative or from negative to positive, the bending moment will be maximum. So in our case, the bending uh, shear force is changing its sign at C. The C point is exactly at the center of the beam that is 1 meter from either end, either from B or either from A, it is 1 meter. So exactly at the center, shear force is changing its sign. That means at point C, we have maximum bending moment. So next, the bending moment calculation, the bending moment at supports A and B is always zero in case of shear, uh, simply supported beam. So the bending moment at A and B is zero, this point and this point is zero because it is support, it always at supports, the bending moment is zero in simply supported beam. And we have only one point that is C, which is having the maximum bending moment. We need to calculate the maximum bending moment at C. For calculation of maximum bending moment, we are taking uh, this half portion as zoom one, you can see. So this is 10 kN RB. So we have to calculate the bending moment at C. C is having a length of 1 meter from point B. So maximum bending moment at C is this load is 10 kN reaction load. 10 kN is having a distance of 10 into 1 meter from uh, C. So 10 into 1 positive and UDL now 10 kN per meter. So 10 kN per meter. So we have only 1 meter distance. Till C we have only 1 meter distance. C is 1 meter. So 10 into 1 into 1 by 2, L by 2. So the UDL is represented by W into L into L by 2. So W is 10 kN, L is 1 meter only because it is exactly at the center. We have to take only 1 meter into L by 2, that is 1 by 2. So this will become negative, whatever uh, this acting on the beam, load acting on the beam, we should take as negative and the support we have to take as positive. So 10 minus 10 into 1 into half is 5 kN. So 10 Positive 10 minus 5 kN will be positive 5 kN meter is the bending moment which is maximum. So 5 into 10 raised 6, it is the conversion from kN meter to Newton per millimeter. So the maximum bending moment is 5 kN per meter at C. So this is a parabolic curve for bending moment. UDL we have to write parabolic curve. So at C it is 5 kN. It is 0 at A and B. You have to draw a parabolic smooth curve like this. This is the bending moment diagram. So this is about the theoretical calculation. So this we need to prove it in ANSYS also. So let's move to the ANSYS. Go to references. Go to structural. Click on structural. Okay. Now go to three processor element type. Add, edit, delete. Click on add. Beam. 2D node 188. Click on OK. Close this. Now go to material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, 200 e raised to 3, that is 2 raise. 200 into 10 raise 3 is represented by 200 into e raise e 3. Poison's ratio is 0.3. All these parameters are given in the problem itself. Click on OK. Close this. Now go to section B, common section, breadth as 200 millimeter and height as 300 millimeter. You need to enter. It is already given in the problem in meter but we need to write in millimeters, 200 into 300. Click on OK. Now close this. Go to modeling, key points, inactive CS. So first 
key point is at a distance of 0, 0, 0, that is origin. Click on apply. Second key point will be at a distance of 2 meter from origin, that is in case of in terms of millimeter, it is 2000. So I have to write 2000 here. Okay. We got two points, two key points using this key points. Go to draw a straight line. For that, go to modeling, create lines. Again, go to lines in that straight line. Select one to two. Click on OK. Now go to meshing. Click on size control. Manual size global. Go to size. Here, enter 10 and this division as 100. Click on OK. Now go to mesh lines. Pick call. To see the meshing has done, go to plot lines. You can see the meshing. The meshing after meshing gets over. Go to applying the loads. For that, go to solution, define loads, apply structural displacement on key points. Select this first key point, click on OK. Here you need to select UX, UY, UZ, rotation X, rotation Y. You have to leave only rotation Z and all DOF. Click on OK. Now again click on key points, select this end. Click on OK. Here you need to arrest only UI direction. So select only UI here. Click on OK. The boundary condition is over. Now go to apply the uniformly distributed load. For that purpose, you need to go on define load, preserve. You can see here preserve. That go to on beams. Now instead of single, you make it box here. A draw click and drag a box which includes this total length of the beam now click on ok now make this load key as 2 and at i write it as 10 that is intensity of udl 10 kilonewton per meter or 10 newton per millimeter click on ok you can see that udl is applied here close this now the loading condition is over. Now go to solve current LS. Click on OK. Solution is done. Close this. Close this. Now go to general post processor. Here go to element table, define table, and Click on by sequence number, SMIC. You need to enter four values. That is first time three. Click on apply. Again, go to by sequence num. Click on SMIC. Write it as six. Play. Again, go to by sequence num. Enter this time 16. Apply. Again, go to by sequence thumb right here 19. Click on OK. You can see 3, 6, 16, 19. Close this. Now go to plot result. Contour plot line element result. In I, make it as 6. And at J, make it as 19 in order to see the shear force diagram. So note down the shear force uh, values. Maximum is 9950 Newton. In our case, it is 1000, uh, uh, 10,000 uh, Newton. So here in uh, actual value, it is 9950. It may vary with the practical values and the actual values. So in ANSYS, it has shown 9950. Newton. In our case, it is uh, maximum and minimum is 10 kilonewton, which is nothing but 10,000 newton. So here it is 9950 newton. Only 50 
uh, Newton is varying. So it varies with the actual values with and the theoretical values. Now let's move to the bending moment for that set uh, 3 and 16. I as 3 and this as 16. Click on OK. See here the parabolic curve, which is exactly same as our theoretical calculation, and the value is exactly matching. It is 0.500 into e raise 7, which is nothing but 5 into 10 raise 6 Newton dash millimeter. So theoretical value is matching with the ANSYS value of bending moment. Shear force is also matching with the little variation. So that's it for the today's session. Thank you. Thank you for watching.